Welcome to Beagle Harbor's How To Series. We have many more videos available on our website at www.beaglehardware.com. Today we will be showing you how to USB. We will be walking you through the steps to connect your Epson POS printer with a connected USB interface to your Windows computer. First, you will need an Epson POS printer with connected USB adapter card installed a Windows computer with USB port, and a USB cable. All of these items can be purchased for low prices at www.beaglehardware.com. Step number one, connecting the adapter. The adapter can replace the existing adapter or be a new one held in place by two screws. Step number two, attaching the cable. USB printers use USB 2.0 Type B cables. One end has a male USB Type B plug. The other end has a male USB Type A plug that goes into the computer. Step number three, self-test. Get the adapter settings. Run the self-test by holding down the feed button while turning on the printer for three seconds. It will print your initial settings, including interface type, ID, and buffer capacity. Several models of printers show parallel interfaces or other when the USB module is installed. This is normal. Step number four, installing the device drivers for Windows. If provided with a driver disk from Beagle Hardware or Epson, you can install the Epson printer drivers from the CD. You can also download the files from Epson. Installing drivers. Find Epson's drivers at pos.epson.com. Click on Technical Resources. Then select the printer model under the menu. Next, click Download Drivers on the printer page. For more detailed installation instructions, you can click here. Step number five, installing the printer Drivers in Windows. After downloading the driver installer from Epson, the drivers need to be unpacked. Right-click Extract and download them. Then the installer can run. The installer walks you through selecting the model and interface you are installing. Press the Add button to add the new printer to Windows. Choose the Epson model of the printer installed from the pull-down menu. And choose USB for port type. The installer will summarize the drivers selected. You can back up and change the drivers here if necessary. This completes the installation of the Epson printer drivers. After installation, they should be visible in the printer's folder in the Windows control panel. Step number six, configuring the printer. Configuring the USB printer is often the simplest of the connected adapters. It's plug and play. After installing the drivers, connecting the cable, and turning on the printer, Windows should see the device and install it automatically. You normally do not need to make any changes in the printer settings to get it to work with the USB adapter. You must use an Epson labeled port with a USB interface. The USB interface supports bi-directional communication. Step number seven, Epson Flash Utility. The Epson Flash Utility is normally installed with the Epson printer drivers. It has a simple communications test which checks basic connectivity between the computer and printer. Pressing the COM test button on the setup tab of the utility will give a go, no go, 
indication of basic connectivity. Step number eight, testing the printer. You should now be ready to test the printer by printing some text or by pressing the print test page button in the general tab of the printer properties. Congratulations. Your computer is now configured to run with the Epson POS USB printer. To see more how-to videos, visit our website. We also have supplies, repairs, support, and the lowest prices. Check us out at www.beaglehardware.com.